REST is short for Representational State Transfer. It was introduced by Roy Fielding in his doctoral dissertation and offered a radically different approach. Instead of complex protocols, REST leveraged existing HTTP infrastructure that already powered the web. Developers could now design APIs using familiar HTTP methods like GET to retrieve data, POST to create new resources, PUT to update existing ones, and DELETE to remove them. REST adoption was swift and decisive because it was lightweight, intuitive, and blazing fast compared to SOAP. The secret sauce was JSON. While SOAP relied on bulky XML, REST embraced JSON's compact human-readable format that browsers and servers could parse easily. In practice, when one service needs to communicate with another, it sends an HTTP request to a specific URL endpoint. This endpoint is a digital address of where the service is located on the network. The request might carry data in its body, called the payload, usually formatted in JSON. It might also include parameters directly in the URL to specify what exactly is needed. The receiving service processes this request, performs whatever operations are needed, and sends back an HTTP response. This response includes a status code telling you whether everything worked smoothly along with the actual data you requested. An example of a GET request fetching products in a category from a product service might look something like this. And the response might look something like this. In a complex flow, a shopping cart checkout process might involve a POST request to the payment service to authorize the charges, a GET request to the user service to fetch the customer's delivery address, and finally, a POST request to the order service to officially record the purchase in the system. Each step waits for the previous one to complete successfully. If the payment fails, the process stops there. If the address can't be retrieved, no order gets created. This sequential dependent flow is where REST APIs truly shine. It excels in scenarios demanding immediate responses. When you're processing a payment, you can't tell your customer, wait, we'll get back to you later as to whether your card worked or not. You need that confirmation right now. APIs are also perfect when your calling service simply cannot proceed without a response. If the next action depends on the results of this one, like confirming a user's password before granting access, then APIs are the right tools. For standard CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete, RESTful APIs feel natural and intuitive. They map out beautifully to HTTP methods and provide a clear, predictable interface for managing resources. 